10 life here, 10 life. That's the game. Excellent. Welcome to Menacing MTG. Very happy to bring you this Simic deck. Well, it's not exactly a Simic deck because it does have a splash of red in here. Um, but this deck is unbelievable. I'm going to make this quick because I, this takes a long time to explain thoroughly. But this has several uh, Dungeons and Dragons cards that are all high impact. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the three things that make this thing click. One is Volo. When you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. In other words, you get a token copy of a creature you bring on. Now, we intentionally have very low saturation of legendary creatures as a result of that. The only ones we do have are the uh, Gnawbone and the Coma. Everything else is non-legendary, um, with the exception of this and this. So, that's number one. Token copies of creatures. Number two. Echoing Equation, this sorcery right here. Choose a card you control. Each other creature you control becomes a copy of it until the end of the turn. This is very potent because if we have something like an Elder Gargaroth on the battlefield and we um, run this spell with a bunch of Scoot Swarms out there, they're all going to become Elder Gargaroths and the game is over. Okay? Now, you can do this even with the legendary creature. So while Volo does not copy legendary creatures, the Echoing Equation does not choose here. Anything flies. Any creature becomes a copy of the target creature. So you could make everything comas. You could make everything um, knob bones, whatever. Okay, so awesome, awesome. All right, so that's number two. Number three is... Delina, Wild Mage. Now, Delina is a roll the die card. So when it attacks, you choose a creature that you control. And that could be, for example, um, Garagoth. Then you roll a 20-sided dice. On a result of 1 through 14, create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that creature except it's not legendary. So again, you could do this with um, legendary creatures. And um, then you, you have this attacking copy, right? Uh, you have to exile it at the end of combat. If you roll a 15 through 20, create one of those tokens. You may roll again, okay? So now, that doesn't sound terribly impactful unless you have Pixie Guide on the battlefield or multiple copies, hopefully. Now, let me just tell you that we're going to have another deck coming up soon that focuses more exclusively on dice rolling. Now, I'm mixing a bunch of elements in this deck. We have three power elements combined in this deck. I think they work fabulously well. But uh, So Pixie Guide allows you to roll an additional dice for each Pixie Guide out there. So, and you discard the lowest roll. Okay, so you can, you're only discarding the lowest roll. So you can count all of the rolls that you get except the lowest one. So if you have three pixie guides out there, you're rolling four dice. Four dice uh, that then you're going to discard one of count three of. Pretty decent likelihood you're going to get one of the 15 through 20s. Um, but even if you don't, you're going to have a bunch of token copies. But if you get a 15 through 20, then you do it all again. So you can really generate a ton of token creatures. So there are the three core elements. You, big things in this deck are Ramp with the Cultivates and the Dryad. Scoot Swarm, which gets things rolling. Um, 
we have Bard for finding things in your deck. Um, we have a bunch of the new uh, Dungeons and Dragons cards. We have Gadwick for card draw. We have Contact Other Plane. This is another die roller that benefits from Pixie Guide. Uh, from Dungeons and Dragons, Wandering Troubadour gets you into the dungeon. Dungeon map bumps up your mana and gets you into the dungeon. And then Monstrous Creatures, two copies of the Elder, one loathsome troll also, but uses the roll, dice roll mechanism. Um, Old Nawbone, the big dragon, um, Thorn Mammoth Fighter you can also make copies of this bad boy, um, and Coma. So really outrageous. We have 25 mana, and it really covers it. It covers it nicely. This gets it done. So I'm going to stop right there. Please consider subscribing. Thank you so very much for watching, and I hope you have a great night. Take care. Okay, this is a keeper. This is somewhat of a perfect hand. We have Scoot Swarm starting, then we have Card Draw. So uh, Cultivate would be the next most important thing. We'll start out with the Vine Glimmer Snarl and show an island. Could only have been made better by going first. Now blue, blue black, okay, so they could kill the Scoot Swarm. <coughs> they have Gargareth here. Scoot Swarm um, is just kind of um, fluff in so much as it makes the Gargaroth, if we are able to get the uh, red creature on the board. Yeah, there we go. So there that goes. There's only one more in the deck. No big thing, really. Um, okay, looks like Mutate. So there's our red. Um... Yeah, we'll toss it up, <clears throat> and we're going to put the Troubadour up. Okay, yeah, we'll take the mana for sure. So, we're, we're really thick with mana. I pro actually didn't really need that one, but um, <clears throat> we want a ton of mana. <clears throat> okay, see Dasher. Will that come in? Probably, because it's going to be a three. <clears throat> I will block if it does. They get to draw a card and discard a card. They ditch a boot nipper. Okay. I don't think they will. No, they do not. Okay. So, I'm hoping they don't have a kill spell here. Gargaroth on. There's another one in the deck. We're going to attack. I don't think they're going to block it. Wow, they're going to block it. Okay. They may have a spell in hand, they don't. Okay, that worked out beautifully. Okay. So we need to get this running again right away here. Another Gargaroth. Wow. Okay. Um... What's the best thing to do here? We're going to attack with this because we want to put the counter on Gargaroth. <coughs> They're going to give up the Sea Dasher. This is good news. <coughs> Lockmere is a very tough creature. Yeah, we don't get it going, but...
Okay, stern dismissal, that's fine. I don't think we're going to see an attack here. They're empty handed though, so they, they got a bit of a problem. Okay, excellent. Seven mana. They're rolling a die. Pretty good. Scry two. Scoot Swarm, excellent. I really like both these. But we're going to ditch the Fey Wild here. Okay, this is great. This comes up. Love to pick up a cultivate now. <clears throat> That'd be perfect. We could put the troll on. Um, we could put an island on, then run cultivate. That would be really amazing. Okay, they enrich their hand a bit. for our red creature. Another polywog. Will they mutate here? Okay, this is all very good news. Next best thing to a cultivate. We're getting a bit of an army of Scoot Swarms. More mana in hand. And the opponent is hampered by limited cards in hand. Okay, that's a great card because it's going to be able to return something to hand. Gargaroth, yep, no problem there. We can deal with Lockmere. Of course, it can come back. We're going to opt to get rid of the uh, Pouncing Shore Shark. I'm not sure why they attacked with that. That was foolish. <clears throat> and now they're wide open. Okay. And put up the Feywild.
which is giving us a load of blockers, so this is great. And we'll bring on the Gargaroth that they sent off. They have one card in hand, so we've got an advantage here. Send Gargaroth back again, no problem there. I'd love to get a cultivate. Okay, I cannot believe that they're going to attack with the Polywog, but we've got to give up one of the scoots, sadly. <clears throat> Gonna bite on the polywog at all. Okay, they're tapped out. They've got four three mana now. We may have a kill spell. Killing one scoot really isn't gonna help. They run eliminate. Okay. Tough loss for us. Okay, we get cultivate. these now it's really becoming a problem for them. Okay, that is a lot of scooch worms. Just looking for a red creature here. We're going to attack with all these guys. Next turn we should be able to bring on Gargaroth and roll out Loathsome. Ooh, they're giving up cards, so it can't be blocked. So the game is over, though, unless they have something to put me to sleep or something, <coughs> which is possible. There are some cards that could really do us in. <coughs> they draw a card. We're down to four mana. Okay, nice play. We're down to two mana. Available, that is. That bolsters their life, lowers ours. Okay. That is the game. Excellent hand. We don't go first, but really good stuff here. <coughs> Snarl up. And we put on Instrument of the Bard, which is great. And here comes Ranger Class, excited about this card as we can um, put plus one plus one counter on things. 
Ooh, okay, things are going so well here. We're going to put, uh, actually we're going to go cultivate right here. We get to come in and take a shot. Very good progress here. <coughs> we have Gadwick. Death touch creature up there, which is a real luxury. We're going to bring up Gadwick and forego to cultivate this turn. Keep our hand full. See if there's any trading going on here. Nothing, okay. <clears throat> In great shape here. Okay. Little life game machine there and speaker comes on. We're gonna need to continue to attack these folks. Okay, we're just getting flooded with mana here, so let's go ahead and use this. drop. Hmm. Let's use it for Gargaroth. I'm going to throw up the Trickster which will tap something. And we're going to attack with all these and put plus one plus one counters on them. And something here, let's see. Um, yeah, it keeps them far away from the speaker goal. Daxos, good, good card. And they can probably play one more creature here. Going to attack and we'll let him come in. Goal is to keep the life total down with this um, opponent. <clears throat> Ooh, that is outstanding. Wow. The, there's multiple ways this can be used, but I think we're going to go for the game ender here. Um, And put up the red, put up the Gargaroth. Then we can make everything we have Gargaroths. I could also toss this up right now and it's going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight. But we're going to remain patient here. Mm. 
No attacks. <clears throat> they really don't know what's coming here. Oh boy. Okay. Ten life here, ten life. That's the game. Excellent. Okay, I'll keep this. Okay, Pixie guy it up. Okay, we'll see if we're going to get beat up here with a, count with a uh, pump spell like uh, the Rimrock Infuriate. Okay. Alright. Spell used. We're going to run Scoot Swarm right here. We're not going to block with it. Hopefully they don't have a shock. As we have Fable Passage, and that's too bad. Yep, alright. Well, we've got another. Okay, this is good luck. Okay, that gives us some blockers. Jeez, brutal. They've got all the answers, but now they are out of cards. So that's good. Okay, perfect. Let's see what we got going here. Um, we're gonna bring on Gadwick. We can't bring on Gadwick. Never mind. Um, we can bring on both these guys. And yeah, they're gonna give it up because they're out of resources. Okay, unfortunately, I got a really incredibly slow mana here. Oh, that's good news. Okay.
All right, so we're in decent shape here. And we got, you know, we're going to have some problems if we don't get things moving fairly quickly. Okay, excellent. So this is all good news. Pixie Guide comes on. Put an end to the bushwag for the moment. Okay, things are looking good here. We're going to put up the map. We want the Gargaroth on as fast as possible. And they get a mana so they can indeed bump the bushwag so they'll attack with both these creatures, I believe. We're going to have to let them in. And they're going to come and kill my creature instead. Okay. Okay, excellent. Let's go in here with green. Gargaroth. All right, let's see what they've got. Pump spells are scary. We're not going to be able to bump up the bushwag and um, cast much of a pump spell. We're going to do it. I'll kill it. I'll kill him. And we've got a beast creature. Hoping for a good draw here. Okay, that is a good draw. And we're playing for the long game here. Okay, that's excellent. And we're just going to go ahead and hit the uh, dungeon, and we're going to go for the gain one life version. Actually, I think we're going to go here. Scry, then we'll create a token. Okay, excellent scoop. Perfect. So we can trade off with um, Bone Crusher, and they can, of course, bump up Bushwag. I'm not, I'm not unaware of that, but they're just going to run that. We're going to let it in. Yep, that hurts. But right now we can actually bring on the decline here. We can bring on... We have all kinds of options here. I think the thing to do is to go scoot. Bring on Fatal Passage. Crack it. We're going to get a bunch of these scoots here. And throw up Delina. Boom. Okay, excellent. Oh, damn it. That is really too bad. Decline. Okay. We're going to be okay here. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Alright, so yeah, we can um, wrap this up this coming turn. Okay, I believe this wins the game here. Let's get another scoot up there. Three. Oh, they're going to give it up. Darn, I didn't get to run it. So what I would have done is run Echoing Equation and make all of my creatures old Gnawbone creatures. 
So all 7-7 seven, seven flyers, and sadly I didn't get to run that trick, but it was coming. <laughs>